Now I'm ready to do these walls. Now I've taken my extension off and I'm just going to use this by hand first. What I used to do was try to do this from the top down, but it doesn't work. You got to have your three inch uh, paintbrush ready or four inch. You're going to start at the bottom here and then go up because what happens is once you push, you start getting the foam build up and then you're just pushing that on up. Now you can kind of go back and forth on your tiles. If you start from the top and go down, you get a lot of this. If you start up here, you have a tendency of having some of the foam build up start dripping. So I like to start at the bottom and work my way up. And I'll generally um, hook my extension pull on but in the areas where I can't, you can, you can just do it this way. Okay. Now just keep blending it in and just keep going over it. Now go over it lighter. You're going over it lighter now. You're blending, you're taking most of that in. Then you can take your paintbrush and you can just do a once, a once over on it. Anything that gets on the floor, make sure you wipe up because, as you remember, we don't want to do the floor just yet. Okay? There. That's how that's going to look. I went ahead and screwed this back on. What I like to do is do this with the pole wherever I can because I don't like bending down like that so I'm in a close area I can just do it a little bit at a time like that now I can go over that area and just concentrate on one tile at a time in these cramped little quarters see the harder you press it the more comes out and it kind of foams up. But that's okay because you can get that into the nooks and crannies. Okay, now you can go back over it lighter, lighter strokes. See? I'm hardly putting any pressure on there at all. And that kind of blends that in. Then I can I can take my paintbrush and I can just stroke that up. And just make sure I get into the seams there, concentrating on one tile at a time. When you get good at this, I guess you could start at the top, but um, at first, if you get too much, if you get too much on there at any one time, you start at the top, it starts running all down. So I like to kind of start at the bottom. Try starting at the bottom. Once you get good at it, then you can start, you know, try it up at the top and see how it works. And uh, just be careful, the harder you press when you have a full amount of sealer on your roller, the more it's going to come out. So you kind of want to do it light and then press on it more and start blending it all in. Kind of how I showed you there. Alright, let's see what happens. I put it at the top first. See how it kind of runs down? You start there and then you have to kind of catch that. Now I'm not going all the way up to the top because you remember we already cut that in, so that's okay. I guess that'll I guess that'll work. A little bit of it ran, but um, I caught it in time because I Last thing I want is for, is for the runs to go all the way down to the floor and build up on the floor. Okay, I'm in this confined area, so I have to turn sideways, and I can do it sideways. Now I don't have to keep taking my roller off. I can do it, see there? Just doing sideways and doing up like that. Blend that in. 
set that down, take my paintbrush, do that. Oh, I like a little step stool so I can get this, but barely tall enough that I can reach that. And that's why I cut that in. Now, if you can't, you may want to determine how high you can reach. If you, is because if you can only reach this high, you may when you cut in all this up on a ladder or something, you may want to cut in all the way down to here. Then you don't have to go up as high and think, oh, I can't reach that. You know, Look, all I'm doing with the paintbrush is just sort of blending it in. Is all before I go on any further. <laughs> 